You know, as much as I love social media, you know what, social media, it's rented ground. We don't own it. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video today. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, founder and CEO of Katie Lance Consulting, the Get Social Smart Academy, and author of the book, Get Social Smart. And it's episode 203 of the Get Social Smart show. And I wanna tackle an important subject today, and that is, again, as much as I love social media, we don't own it, it's rented ground. So I'm often asked things like, Katie, what social media platform should we focus on? What content should we focus on? How many times a day should we post? And those are all really good questions, but at the end of the day, Facebook is here today and hopefully it'll be here down the road, but we don't know. Same thing with Instagram or any social media platform. So I wanna just take a few minutes to share a few thoughts about how we think about social media. And really, if you wanna use social media to build your brand, to attract business, to attract leads, a few things that really do make a big difference. Number one, create content that you own. This is really important. We call this pillar content. So pillar content is something that takes a little bit of time, sometimes money, and sometimes resources. Pillar content is typically something like this, video content that's recorded. It might be Facebook Live content. It could be blog content or even podcast content. And the beautiful thing about creating content you own is it's content that's in your voice. So yes, I could go into Google and Google how to get my home ready for the market and there would probably be you know a thousand videos about that but nobody's gonna say it the way you're gonna say it. Nobody's gonna have the stories and the analogies and the voice inflection and the personality like you are. And so when you start to create this library of content, I can tell you from experience, it's such a powerful thing because you're building up this library of content and when you start to get Googled, as we all get Googled, it's amazing how your name just kind of starts to bubble up to the top, especially if you're in a competitive market. So create your own content, that's number one. And I can tell you that that's really the difference between uh, you know, someone who's just doing video here and there or a blog post here and there, that consistency of creating that own content that you own, that library of content, so, so powerful. Tip number two, build your email database. This is so vital. I can't tell you how many times I'm talking to a group of realtors and we're talking about social media and I ask something like, hey, how many of you send out an email newsletter? Or how many of you have an email database? And, and sheepishly, a few hands uh, might go up, sometimes more than a few hands. But again, you wanna think about the fact that we don't own social media and I love social media. Heck, I'm in the business of social media. But I also know the importance of email. And it's one thing for someone to like you on Facebook. It's something else for them to follow you on Twitter, but for someone to opt into your email and say, yes, send me more email. Again, it's a really powerful thing. Now, we don't want to spam people. We don't want to buy emails. We don't want to do anything like that, but we want to get into a system where we're consistently building our email database, and then on a weekly or maybe even monthly basis, we are leveraging that email database to send out really helpful information. I'm not talking about property alerts. I'm talking about sending out valuable information, which goes back to point number one. If you're creating a library of content on a weekly or monthly basis, again, whether that's video content or podcast content, now you've got some really great helpful content, your content in your voice for your email, for your email marketing, for your email database. And those are two huge pieces of the pie that again, go with you wherever you go. Tip number three, take the online offline. Take the online offline. And this I feel like is kind of like the secret sauce, right? So when we're on social media, again, social media is rented ground. You see it's someone's birthday. Well, you could be one of the 50 people that writes on their wall, happy birthday, HBD, emoji. Or you could be one of the only people who reaches out to them personally, picks up the phone, calls them, sends them a text. Especially in this day and age, that ability to take the online offline is so important. The ability to connect with people, right? I know on my birthday recently, I received a number of, of private messages through Facebook Messenger. And those people stood out to me a little bit more than the number of people who wrote on my wall. Now don't get me wrong, it was all great, right? When, you, when, when it's your birthday, you know, you feel the love on your birthday, right, on social media. But again, are there some opportunities to take the online offline? You see it's your, your client just got a job promotion or they just had a baby. What a great opportunity, not just to write on their wall, but send a gift or a card or to do something thoughtful. And this is where I think there's a big opportunity here. When we think about taking that online offline, 
At the end of the day, real estate's a relationship business. We know this. We know for most people, buying and selling a home is one of the biggest moments in their life. It's right after getting married or having kids. And so it's really important when we think about social media that it's not just content for the sake of content. It's not just promoting our listings. It's, it's as you've seen in many of my other videos, it's, it's really less about you and more about other people. So when we can combine those three things and we focus on content, pillar content that you own, when we can focus on building an email database that's helpful, that's useful, and we can take the online offline, that's the magic right there. That's the secret sauce, and that's the difference between attracting business versus chasing leads. All right, I would love to hear from you. What questions do you have about social media? We're gonna be putting together some new content uh, over in the next few months uh, and weeks, and we would love to hear from you. What are some of your burning questions when it comes to social media? What are some of your biggest struggles? Let us know in the comments below. And for more tips, tools, and strategies, make sure you visit, visit us over at katielance.com. And by the way, before I forget, if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and the bell button because we have new videos that come out each and every week. All right, everyone, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah.